right, you, sir. guys, see you later. Okay. Well, as you, you can bet. see from that seven day forecast, the heat's gonna be around for a while and that can make wearing a mask uncomfortable. But it's still important to do. Dr. Jenny Liu from Cook County Health joins us now. Thank you, doctor, appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It reemphasized that even though it's going to be a hot couple of weeks, that it's still important to wear your mask. It's the one physical barrier between you and the droplets that contain the virus, which is not going away anytime soon. And even with this hot weather, the virus is not going away. Um, I do have some other summer reminders, summer uh, tips to keep your viewers healthy. Um, number one, with sunblock. Make sure that you apply the sunblock um, on areas, especially that you might forget about, like behind your ears or on the top of your head. Um, clothing, you wanna make sure that you wear light clothing, clothing that is breathable, light colored. And as far as um, your car goes, you know, remember that the car can really heat up from, you know, anywhere from like 80 degrees to 120 in 30, 40 minutes. So you wanna make sure that you're not keeping you know, your hand sanitizers uh, in the car where it could potentially catch fire. And also, um, you know, you definitely don't want to keep any pets in the car um, during these hot times. So if you see that, you know, try to find the owner of the car uh, or, you know, call 911 if you have to. Fluids, you want to make sure that you stay hydrated, especially if you're drinking any alcoholic beverages, uh, caffeinated products like caffeine, um, I'm sorry, uh, caffeinated products like coffee and tea. Um, those drinks will make you more dehydrated. So if you are going to drink them, make sure that you replenish yourself with uh, either just water or, you know, um, a balanced electrolyte drink like a, like a sports drink. Exercise try to stay in shady areas when um, you talk about exercise that's that's a key yeah. question that i have because i was working out the other day with a mask on and it's hard. It, yeah what do you do are there different masks that you can wear that maybe you can breathe through better than others but still protect yourself and those around you you know i think for the each individual it might be a different type of material that's good for you um i find some of the more cotton materials a little bit easier to breathe through um than some of like the surgical masks which you know when you inhale sometimes it seems to like inhale into your mouth so you know it's really just i think trying a few different types of um materials that work best for, for your face and and for the type of exercise that you're going to be doing but it, it it is hard nobody's saying it's easy um it, it's a hard thing to do and what about the difference in face coverings originally they said face covering because there was a shortage of masks. Uh, is a mask, you know, like a dentist might wear or something like that, a lot better and safer? Will it cut down on transmission much more so than, say, a bandana or something that's homemade? Or those cowl neck kind of yeah. uh, masks that they wear. You know, if, if you don't have the option of finding, you know, the absolute Mercedes-Benz of uh, masks that, you know, the, the hospitals might use, um, the N95s, any type of material is still a great physical barrier. Um, bandanas, um, even if you have to cover your, your face with, you know, some other kind of cloth, um, cloth mask. There are many different types of, of masks that are available. Um, any one of them, if you wear them, it's gonna provide some level of physical barrier between you and the droplets that transmit the virus, so. So in 95, you don't necessarily have to use that one, you don't right? Necessarily okay. Use that. All we right. use it at the hospital mostly, you know, if we're in gotcha. patient mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. All, right, All right, Dr. Jenny Liu, thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much.